Hi everyone, let's begin one more type of chart we would learn today in our studio. That is the stacked bar chart. Each bar in a standard bar chart is divided into a number of the sub bars stacked end to end and each one corresponding to a level of the second categorical variable. So this kind of kind of bar chart, we are stacked bar chart we are going to prepare today in our video. So how we will prepare, let's begin. This one is the already I had prepared this thing. So I'm removing each and everything here. I'm removing this part, right? And since beginning, I'm going to start and I'm closing this part also. I'm removing this part also, right? So environment is empty. This console is empty. And this one is the plot is also empty. This is my script writer. This is the R script, right? And I had written some scripts. So one by one, we will run. But uh, before that, let me, and I'm, 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 I'm all these files I'm closing. Since at scratch, I'm going to tell you how we have to import file, right? So here is from Excel, here is browse. And where is this file is put it and uh, I will open this file. Let me go there and there is the R Studio folder. And in this R Studio folder, I'm using this file R underscore file one, then I am going to import this file, right? In this file, you can see gender and A. These are my two categorical variables. So we will prepare this stack bar chart uh, in between these two categorical variables. Right, so first command, what we are going to write here. First of all, what we have to do, we would write, we want this variable should be created here, both these categorical variable in my environment. So what I have to write, I will write, let's say I want, just a moment, let's say I want gender, right? In this gender, what I want, where is this gender? This gender is R underscore file one, right? Then we will press dollar sign and we want in this variable gender, right? Or you can give any name I had given gender. You can take any name, Jen only or G or whatever is your name. So I had uh, given this function and you can see here, this one is the gender variable is created here. That is character. And in this gender, there are total how many entries? One, two, 371 entries and male and female are there. Now, next one is my age. I want to put and uh, create another one variable is age and where is this age r underscore file and in this r underscore file one right and uh, this one is the dollar sign and I want to put this variable age under this variable so you can see age variable is also created here right now I want to see in the form of a table right in this form of the table, I want to see both these variable gender and age. Correct. So what I will do now you can see in the form of the table. So this is gender, female, male. If we would like to see there are how many three categories, 30 to 45, 45 to 60 and below 30. So female are under this category 30 and male 37. And uh, here is in between 45 to 60 age category, females are 44 and males are 78 and category below 30, female 72 and male 110. This is in the tabular form. So now I would like to put this complete information in, let's say, this is my chart variable I had created. I would like to give this complete function in this variable complete information, right? So table, and again, I would say gender, comma, age. So now you can see here, this is created here, chart. In this, both these, this is the integer, right? And gender and age both are here. Up now, what I have to do, I want, let's say, bar plot of chart. Simply, I would write chart. Why? Because all these things are put in this variable. So I would press this. So moment I had given this command bar plot chart. So you can see here 
these are the three categories of age you can see here 30 to 45 45 to 60 and below 60 right this one is the chart is created now i want to give title to this chart also so what i have to do i had already you can see here i had already uh, written scripts those i had already run these scripts so the, the, these these functions so you can see here right so up now i want if simply you will run this thing so directly it would come but just for because i want to show you how i had written this command so i'm writing once again so here is I would write bar chart. Sorry, 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 sorry. This cursor was there. So now I will bring cursor over there. Right, bar chart. Right, bar chart. Now, where is this? This is in the chart, right? Chart. And I want to give, this one is the, I will give main title. What I want to give main title is, main title is, I want to give, Let's say this one is the gender versus gender versus I want to give age because this chart is in between gender and age. So I want to give main title gender and age and as well as x lab means on the x axis. What I want, I want x lab equal to let's say i want to give this title to x lab because on x axis i have taken age groups so i am giving age groups age groups and on the y axis then we can say y lab and equal to what i want to give y lab equal to right i want to give let's say um, female versus male because on the y-axis we have taken this Ab let's say i would like to run this command there is the some i think there's the some issue okay 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 function bar chart and in the bar chart okay fine so what i have to do right what i have to do again rather than again we are writing this is um what i will do you can see here i will run this command so you can see here bar plot many i i sorry i have taken here is the bar chart rather than bar plot i should write bar plot function right rest of the command is same no no issue no problem so when i would write bar plot chart main equal to gender versus age x lab age groups and y lab i want male and female so you can see here i can zoom this you can see here age groups on the x axis and on the y-axis, you can see male and female and gender versus age. This is the main title I have given. Now, this is the automatically by default, these colors will come. If suppose I want to fill these colors. So again, what I have to do, simply press up arrow. Sorry, here, when you have to cursor would be up arrow. So again, this command will be copy here. And now I want color to this particular chart so i would write color right color function and uh, here is in the color function you can see here i would write here is the we can we, we, we can use this one is the rather than we would write equal to right c and i want to give color let's say i want to give six and seven correct and uh, and remove this bracket and uh, after that again you have to press one more bracket so now you can see now these are the colors these colors are filled here right in between 30 to 45 and 45 to 60 and it is reflecting our ratio now let's say i want to give some legends also on the right hand side corner what color is showing male and what color is showing female because otherwise i will not understand so what again i will press up arrow so you can see here now this 
the, this command is copied here. Now again, I would press comma. Then I will say legend, simply legend equal to row, row names, right? Row names from where? Because all these things are put in the chart, right? Chart. And I would close this bracket. Now press enter. Moment you had given this command, you can see legend is also here. I have taken only two. So I had given two. Let's say you have taken four or five. So you can mention all these things. And male, yellow means this part. Yellow means male. And this part is reflecting female. Up now, suppose you want to interchange. Age group should be here and male and female should be here so simply there is nothing you have to run this command once again you can see here where is i had given this command table right so simply i would press this one is the in table you can see here when i would press up arrow so okay down arrow down arrow down arrow right in this command age first you will write age right first you will write age then after that you will write one more thing i would like to tell you gender uh, one more thing suppose you want to copy this chart simply you have to first you can zoom this you can see here right it could be like this and after that export this copy to clipboard and copy plot and simply you will come over here in your word document you will copy this command right so it would be like this and uh, now what i have to do i was showing you how we have to interchange age group would be here male and female rest of the process would be same simply first you would write age then after that you will write gender then after that what second command we have taken uh, let's say i want to see this in the form of the table right now you can see age is on this side, gender is on that side, right? And again, the rest of the process would be same. Again, we will put all these variables. Let's say I would like to give chart one because chart variable is already created here. Now I'm creating chart one equal to same values, this table, table, and this is age, comma, gender right i would like to put these values in this variable so now you can see chart one variable is created and now all those commands are same right let's say i'm going to take upper one commands mm, yeah same command right so what i have to do in this command chart one i will do it because all these values are in chart one gender versus age same thing x lab i want to give rather than here is because already male and female male and female male and female let's say ratio i had given this and y lab age group because on the y axis now i have taken age groups so i would write age groups right age groups and color combination also we can change now i would like to give eight and uh, here is uh, let's say four and legend is row names chart one i will press again chart one and now i would press enter so now you can see here right what is happening? There are the three male, female category. These three categories of, because this one is the four color, I would like to change gray color. I don't, because four rather than I, sorry. I would like to give, let's say here is five. So now, now you can see here. This is the uh, chart color. You can see here. Uh, this one is the below 30. 45 to 60 and 30 to 45 let's say i because both these colors are same so i would like to give one another color so again i would press up arrow and i want to give let's say here is one more color we can add let's say six and now i would like to press enter so see 
Now you can see here there are three colors, right? This one is color reflecting. You can we can zoom this. I think that could be a little bit uh, better. So this one is showing 30 to 45 age group. This one is showing 45 to 60. This one is showing below 30. So in that way, I'm sure I don't want this color. So I can change this color 5, 4 and one more color. Let me take. So, I mean, in that way, why I'm showing you all those things, because you can also change as per, let's see, here is we can take three. So, now, once again, you can see, now these colors is change. So, this is my, this is my, you can see here, all these stuckered bar, and as well as this one is my legends. So simply what we can do, we can copy this curve, copy to clipboard and we can take it here. We can paste here. What happened? I think I have not copied. Okay, fine. Copy plot. Yes. So I will take it here. I would paste it. So these are the you can you now you understand how we have to prepare already. We had covered bar chart, right? And pie chart. Now stack bar chart is also you understand how we have to create. So I'm sure this video will be helpful to you. And keep watching and uh, do practice on your data. Thank you so much.